Between 1750 and 1850, the punishment of crime in Britain changed radically. Using the records from the courts, parliamentary papers and contemporary comment, this programme traces how and why that change came about. On Wednesday last, at about 12 o'clock, Thomas Bolter and James Caldwell, the two highwaymen convicted at our last assizes, were conveyed to the place of execution. Bolter behaved remarkably penitent. He appeared greatly affected by his approaching fate. He prayed very earnestly and appeared to have due sense of the sad end which his offences had brought upon him. Caldwell was much more hardened. He looked round the spectators with singular confidence, and when approaching nearer the place of execution, he seemed to look at it attentively for a considerable time. They were both in the 23rd year of their age, and after hanging for the usual time, were taken down and buried. Joseph Wood and Thomas Underwood were executed for robbing another boy. All the parties in this case were mere children. The malefactors being 14 years of age each, and the prosecutor no more than 12. The judge declared that it was necessary for the public safety to cut them off, in order that other boys might learn that their tender age would not save them. They were executed at Newgate on the 6th of July, 1791, apparently insensible of their dreadful fate. Two accounts of hangings from the 18th century the reports show what it was believed at the time that public hanging would achieve. Bolter behaved remarkably penitent. Those who were hanged were supposed to show how sorry they were for their crime. It was necessary to cut them off in order that other boys might learn. And they were to be an example to others to discourage them from committing crime. Under the laws of the 18th century, a long list of crimes were capital offences. They could be punished by hanging. Stealing, by day or night, of linen, fustians, calicoes, or cotton goods from the place of manufacture. Making, forging, or counterfeiting any deed, will, testament, or bond with intent to defraud. As industry and trade expanded in the 18th century, manufacturers wanted their property protected, and there was more opportunity for fraud and forgery. Feloniously driving away, or otherwise stealing one or more sheep, Cows, oxen, steers, bullocks, heifers, calves, or lambs. Pickpocketing for one shilling or over. Stealing fish out of any river or pond. Cutting down growing trees. Between 1805 and 1818, more than half of those hanged were executed for property crimes. Burglary, robbery, stealing animals, and forgery. It is the judgment of this court that you be taken from this place to the place from whence you came, and then to a place of execution, there to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. And may God have mercy on your soul. Since hanging was the penalty for so many crimes, were many offenders hanged? <laughs> 